Hello everyone, I'm Martina Rivizzigno and today I will guide you through how to learn new features for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. From autonomous navigation to collaborative missions, our solutions are designed to provide operators with intuitive user experience, significantly reducing the cognitive load and streamlining the entire ISR process. Let's dive in. In the last Autarion Mission Control release, we have improved markers. It is now possible to enter them by coordinate, besides dropping them on the map. This makes it easier for the pilot to mark potential areas of interest, as communicated by command and control. Also, when the marker is placed on the map, it is possible to expand it to read its location, such that it can be communicated over a separate communication link. It is also still possible to share markers via ATAC. Once the vehicle is in the air, the pilot can easily point the gimbal on one of the marker locations by placing POIs to surveil the area. When a target is found, the pilot has the option to enable follow mode, a new flight mode that combines vehicle and gimbal control. In this mode, the aircraft repositions itself around the tracked object. This is a big advantage in complex and dynamic scenarios, as the pilot can maintain a better overall situational awareness by focusing on the sensor data. For example, the target's movement and changes in the environment, instead of focusing solely on piloting the drone. Another major update coming in this release is the ability to connect multiple ground stations to the same vehicle. At the top of the toolbar, you will see a pilot icon, indicating that the GCS is controlling both the vehicle and the payload. Squad 2, this is Squad 1. Target movement detected. Target is now approaching the edge of the port. Take over control of the vehicle. Over. A second ground control station can connect to the vehicle and you will be an observer. It receives video and telemetry, but doesn't have any control over the vehicle. If the observer wishes to take control over the vehicle, he can make a request to the pilot. The pilot has now the option to accept or deny the end of request. In this scenario, the pilot accepts the request. Now the observer becomes the pilot and he has full control over the vehicle and the payload. For example, he can upload a mission with a landing location different from the one planned at takeoff. The observers are able to download the new mission from the vehicle to visualize it. This functionality is critical to ISR missions as it enables better data sharing and analysis, allowing for quicker decision making and a more comprehensive understanding of the situation. This functionality also extends the mission area as a vehicle can be sent outside a single ground control station link range to be picked up by another one. Thank you for joining us today as we explored all the latest developments in the Autarion software stack to conduct ISR missions. See you next time!